Hey guys, Wells Knight here, and welcome back to another episode of Wells Knight's Realm. And today we are back at the Grand Bazaar. Bazaar. However you pronounce it. I really need to figure out how you pronounce that word. I think uh, that word. I think it's Bazaar. I'm pretty sure it's Bazaar. <laughs> but anyway, what I want to do in today's episode is I kind of want to work on this front facade. Uh, this grand entranceway. Um, obviously, we're going to have domes and a roof and all that kind of stuff. But what I kind of want to get hashed out today is this front facade area and maybe a little bit of work on these towers as well. Now, we have some things here that are actually going to make our job a little bit easier. And that's the fact that these walls are three thick, which means I have a lot of depth that I can work with here, which is awesome. That's not something that happens uh, all that often in my builds. So definitely not complaining. Um, so, I think the first thing to do, let's just go ahead and make ourselves a crafting table, and I'll just put it right here. Then I think we'll start off with a little bit of sandstone stairs. That seems like a good first choice. And I'm thinking we'll take out these three, and then maybe those up there and maybe we do something like this and put that guy there and then up here we basically do the opposite like so and we do something like this right so we get kind of this uh, this shape in the wall. That'll give us a little bit of depth there. Um, and then what we can do is behind that, we can grab like some orange stained clay, for example, and maybe work that in. Let's see. Blocks should be over here. Orange stained clay. There we go. Well, I'm actually running really low on orange stained clay. I, might have, I think I'm going to have to make another trip to the Mesa here pretty soon. Uh, because I have way less orange stained clay than I thought I did. Uh, but I think we'll have enough for this little section. So, since we've got this kind of a thing going, we can do, you know, something like that. And then that actually looks pretty interesting, just to begin with. And we can further play with the depth a little bit and the shape by maybe doing something like that. That actually looks pretty cool, not gonna lie. I like it. Um, so, let's do that again, like this. And then it was, I, I believe, these guys as well. Let's just grab all those blocks. There we go. So it was stair, stair, sandstone, stair, stair like that, and like that, and then behind it, we put, uh, can't reach, up here, oh man, I don't know if I can, can I reach that, is it possible, I don't know if it is, we'll just do this, probably way easier. So we do something like that. There we go. So that gets us this this kind of really interesting front wall design there, which is pretty cool. But there's still a lot more we can do with it. So um, I'm thinking like here and oh, here and here we start our archway. And I'm thinking... Let's see, that, oh, that guy will be sandstone, and that guy will be sandstone, and then maybe, let's see, maybe here and here, those are like so, and then finally we grab maybe a single sandstone slab and put him right there. So we get this nice kind of arch shape. Might be better like this. I mean, that's not bad. That's 
A very, very simple arch shape, though. I think we can do... I think we can be more interesting than that. Maybe we'll do something along these lines instead. So we'll stick with that kind of real simple archway there. But then, since we've got these multiple layers here that we can play around with, as I was saying before, we can fill in this section and go... Oh, honestly, we could even do something like this. I mean, stairs are kind of... Well, hmm, that I don't care for. I changed my mind. But we'll do something like that. And then maybe up here, we'll do essentially the same thing. But in the middle, it'll just be basically risen up one block. Oh, come back. Like that. I mean, that's, that's kind of interesting. Not going to lie. And we could take slabs across like so. And that looks pretty good. I mean, that gives us kind of this really interesting shape. And we could maybe do something like that to kind of make use of that orange and add a little bit of depth to the walls as well. Oop, come back. Like that. So you're coming in. And we could maybe put torches here or something. Some sort of light source. Uh, I think it would probably have to be torches. But something like that. Like, that's that's pretty interesting in and of itself. Um, we may have to work on this a little bit more, though. I don't know. I mean, it's it's definitely a good start. But we might want to do some other things. Let's see. So this is two blocks here. That's all pretty good. And we've got the orange just kind of peeking out back there. I'm running really low on the orange, though, which is part of the issue. But the other thing we could maybe consider doing is... Do I have any smooth sandstone? I do. Awesome. So maybe here and here, we'll just put a smooth, stand, uh, a smooth sandstone block. You know, just mix up the texture a little bit, just right there. Just to kind of bring that... Hmm. Yeah, that's not bad. That's not bad. Um, I think it would look better, though, if we also did it here. And then maybe up there. Do I prefer that? Oh, that one ended up in the wrong place. That's okay. Let's grab a regular sandstone as well so I can fill in my mistakes. And then maybe up here and up here. We put smooth sandstone as well. Just to kind of simulate the, you know, just to kind of emphasize the door shape. And maybe even right here. Maybe right there we put a smooth sandstone too just to kind of subtly emphasize that entrance. I think that looks pretty good. Now, we have these big towers here as well, and those are not nearly as big. So, I think what we're probably going to have to do there... Uh, although, I mean, the towers, realistically, the towers could be entirely decorative, which would give us the freedom to do literally whatever we want with them uh, from a design an out you know an outside perspective so I think but I, th I think it would be better if they were used for you know something anything um, I'd like them to have at least some sort of purpose <laughs> because otherwise I mean what's the point of having them at all uh, even if it's just like a storage I'm thinking we'll probably have them for like storage and stuff for the little kiosks and vendors that are all selling their goods uh, in the marketplace. Oh, I should also probably mention this big uh, plus sign here that's marking out where the dome will go. I extended it three blocks in every direction. Uh, I marked it out last episode, and then I thought about it, and I was like, you know, 
if I'm standing over here coming towards the 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 uh the big thing, the bazaar, the bazaar, the however you pronounce it, um the dome, it would be very cool if the dome actually started before this line. So like if it started about here, right? On the inside cuz we're going to have a dome here and I'd like that other dome to kind of come out of the first dome. Um, if you're looking at the skyline and by extending this to past this border right here, it's going to allow me to do that, which I think is a very good thing. So we've got that kind of marked out. Now, the other, um, I don't want to say issue. The other thing we can look at is maybe a little bit of shape here as well with these blocks we could potentially put a stair here and a stair here. And that really gives us, that really emphasizes the rounded shape a lot. Because, I mean, it essentially gives us a circle with this kind of, uh, with, you know, this block sticking out in the middle here, which I don't think is necessarily a bad thing. I might actually like that. I think that maybe that's what we'll do. Um, I do need to make some more stairs. There we go. Because whatever we do on this side, we essentially need to do on the other side as well, or it's just not going to look quite right. So let's give that a go. Where's my smooth? There's my smooth sandstone. Smooth, you go there. Okay. And then we need to do... All that smooth sandstone stuff on this side as well. Like, oh, come on. Ah, almost. I almost had it. Can I jump up there and get that stuff? Yes, good. Okay, smooth, 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 smooth. Oh, and smooth. Beautiful. Okay, so we get that going. And then finally, patch that guy in as well. So that's kind of our main entrance way, which I think looks really interesting. Like, that's not bad. Now, it is kind of flat. I will admit that. So the other thing we can maybe look at doing, maybe we can take some stairs and kind of bring them out here. There's sand. Um, we'll, we'll fill this in with sand. In fact, let me just gather a little bit of sand. I think I wanted to bring this hill back anyway. So let's just kind of do, you know, something like this. Just for now. That'll do. Okay, so we do something like that to kind of bring that shape out a little bit more. Maybe we go like this. That covers up that bottom chisel, but I don't think that's necessarily a bad thing. Hmm. That's kind of interesting. And then maybe we go... Let's see. That would be here. Maybe we go up here and do something like that. on all of these. Uh-huh. Like so. And then, maybe we make a little crenellation up there. Let's just see. And we wouldn't necessarily have to do that on the inside. This is, this is a detail that could be fine without it. Like that. There we go. Let's see how that looks. Does that look good? Definitely playing with shadows there a little bit. Um. Hmm. I kind of think it's a bit much. Just looking at it, I think that's a little bit too much. Like, it's it's a little... It's kind of over the top, if that makes sense. Um, so I 
think... I think we go and, and go back on that. Uh, now, there will be a roof, and the roof itself will probably have crenellations up here. So maybe what we do, maybe that's what we do. Maybe we change the, maybe we still do crenellations. We just do ones that are different than what I was originally working on there. So maybe we go, like, here, and we lay down some upside-down stairs, like so. Right, like this, we take some slabs and bring them across like this, and then on top of those little crenellations, we put stairs down like that. Let's see how that looks. Does that look good? Ooh. That's interesting. I kind of like that. It looks, it almost looks medieval. <laughs> it's not exactly the, uh, the kind of Middle Eastern architecture I was going for. But I do like it. And it creates some interesting effects. I mean... Honestly, for a front facade, I think that's pretty good. That's pretty good. We've got some color in there to kind of break things up. We've got uh, lots of layers of little of depth and small details and things like that. It doesn't necessarily match everything that's going on in the rest of the village. But, I mean, that's, that's okay. This building, I want this building to stand out anyway. And I think once we add in the domes, we'll we'll kind of it will kind of go back to having that uh, that sort of Middle Eastern feel. I think right now it just feels very castly um, because we essentially have tower tower crenellations in the middle, and we all just kind of subconsciously associate that with like a medieval castle. I think once the domes get in place, and once we have this big dome rising over here, and maybe some like minarets. Um, I think then it will it will go back to seeming a lot more like a like a giant market a Middle Eastern marketplace um, rather than you know a, a Anglo Saxon castle. <laughs> so, um, but I think that is definitely all that I have time for in this episode, guys. We got a little bit done. We got the front facade kind of worked out here, and it's looking pretty good, I think. So, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and leave me a comment. I do appreciate it and it really helps out my channel. You can also find me on Facebook, Twitter, and Twitch. There are links in the video description below, so check that out as well. Otherwise, guys, thanks for watching, and I'll definitely see you next time.